In this video, we will explore how an AI tool can assist us in analyzing a data table using Excel's pivot table feature and creating charts, even if we have no prior experience. We'll also discover that using ChatGPT for guidance is much faster than seeking help, browsing the internet, or studying books about such software. By providing a specific prompt, ChatGPT will offer a targeted solution and guide us through the process. This approach ensures rapid learning and quick problem resolution. To begin, let's create a table for our sales data that includes information such as the date of sale, the salesperson, the quantity of sold products, and the unit price. In order to ask ChatGPT for specific assistance, we can provide a prompt like the one below. I have an Excel table with following columns, date in column A, salesperson name in column B, product type in column C, quantity in column D, and unit price in column E. I would like to analyze this data. Can you teach me what kind of analysis and charts I can do with this data? In this case, we'll be using a prompt structure that I find particularly effective. The structure involves defining the situation, specifying the target, and making a request. By following this format, we can provide clear context and objectives for ChatGPT, enabling it to generate more accurate and relevant responses. In our prompt, we'll start by defining the situation, which involves providing information about the type of data each column contains. Next, we'll mention our target by stating, I would like to analyze this data. Finally, we'll make our request, asking ChatGPT for specific guidance or recommendations on how to proceed with the analysis. This structured approach ensures that ChatGPT has the necessary context to offer helpful and relevant suggestions. ChatGPT provided a comprehensive answer that addressed our target and offered recommendations on what we could do with the data. This type of resource is not commonly found in help texts or training documents available online. ChatGPT's approach is both instructive and solution-oriented. In this instance, ChatGPT suggested six different analyses for our table. However, to ensure our audience gains a clear understanding, I'd like to go through these suggestions step by step. First, let's focus on the initial recommendation, which involves analyzing sales over time by creating a line chart or bar chart. This visualization will display total sales over time, allowing us to easily identify trends and patterns. Now let's walk through what ChatGPT told one by one. At first, you'll need to calculate the total sales for each row in your data. In column F, next to the existing data, insert a new column header, total sales. In cell F2, assuming F1 is the header, enter the formula equals D2 asterisk E2 to calculate the total sales, quantity X unit price, for the first row. Press Enter. At this point, we've encountered a small oversight on ChatGPT's part. Total sales cannot be calculated by simply multiplying the sold quantity by the unit price, as that would give us the total or gross income. It's important to remember that while AI can be quite helpful, it's not infallible. Therefore, we should always double-check its responses with a quick review to ensure the information provided is accurate and relevant to our needs. After fixing its mistake, it continued. The third item is clicking on cell F2 again, move your cursor to the bottom right corner of the cell until it changes to a thin crosshair, plus, then double click or click and drag it down to apply the formula to all rows in your data. As you can well aware that it is specifically telling which cell to click, which range to select, and so on. This is the result of being specific initially. After that, ChatGPT Bullet pointed what to do one by one to create a pivot table to summarize the data. Click anywhere inside your data table. Go to the Insert tab on the ribbon and click on Pivot Table. In the Create Pivot Table dialog box, ensure the correct range of your data is selected and choose where you want the pivot table to be placed, New Worksheet or Existing Worksheet. Click OK. Use the Pivot Table Fields pane to drag and drop fields. Drag Date to the Rows area. Drag Gross Income to the Values area. By default, Excel will group the dates by months. 
If you want to display the data by day, right-click any date in the pivot table, select Group, and then choose Days in the Grouping dialog box. Click OK. Let's follow its instruction and have the pivot table in the new sheet and then continue with drawing chart. Select the data in the pivot table, including the date column and the gross income column. Go to the insert tab on the ribbon. Choose the line chart icon from the charts group. Select the preferred line chart type, example, 2D line or 3D line. Excel will create a line chart based on the selected data. To customize the chart, use the Chart Design and Chart Format tabs on the ribbon. You can change the chart title, axis labels, data series format, and more. Now you have a line chart displaying your gross income over time. Next, we will proceed to analyze sales by salesperson using a new sheet with a pivot table. This will allow us to summarize total sales for each salesperson, and will create a bar chart or pie chart to visualize their performance. First, let's follow ChatGPT's instructions to create a pivot table. As we progress, we're not only learning how to create pivot tables, but our overall learning curve is also improving with the assistance of AI. Once we've set up the pivot table, we can create a pie chart displaying the sales amount made by each salesperson. This visual representation will help us better understand individual performance and compare the contributions of each salesperson to the overall sales figures. I continued working through the other items one by one, following the same process. Each time, our progress became faster as I gained more experience creating pivot tables and applying charts. As mentioned earlier, using ChatGPT as a guide is much more efficient for both learning and applying new skills. This AI-driven approach accelerates the learning process and helps us quickly grasp and implement new concepts in our work. After that, I wanted to make works more complicated and tried to understand the possibility of having a pivot table as a one-for-all solution. Our AI friend found a solution for that as well. My Excel skill is excelling. I am glad for that. I assigned date into rows, salesperson and product to the column and last gross income and quantity to the values area. And I learned a new term slicer which make things easier when we are talking about such a complicated pivot table structure. And last, I played with this new pivot table and also tried to understand the charts. All done. I hope this video was useful for you to improve your knowledge for both ChatGPT and Excel. It did to me. Thanks for watching and do not forget to visit my channel and see around to check more useful informative videos are in there.